Amsterdam UMC. What is so great about this team is the multidisciplinary nature of it. So we really learn from each other's discipline and expertise in this area. In our research, we have four main topics. The first is listening effort and cognition. We are using the method of pupillometry to quantify listening effort. So I began my research here looking at uh, like social context of listening scenarios. We're just looking at what happens if you add someone else to a basic speech and noise uh, listening paradigm, just to see if having someone present influences listening and mostly like listening efforts. So we're looking at the pupil dilation. We started to do it in uh, virtual reality. So we're checking if the pupil dilation response that you'd normally get if you're listening to speech and noise, if that's intact, if you use virtual reality, because that hasn't really been tested yet. There hasn't been published work. We're studying hearing related stress in both normal hearing people and people with hearing impairment. We're a team of three, two PhD students, and Shore is our research assistant. Uh, the goal of our research is to, to better understand how um, hearing affects stress systems in people with hearing impairment. So all different types of hearing impairment. The second theme is innovations and evaluations of uh, ear and hearing care. I'm focusing my research on the quality of care. We're trying to uniform everything we do and then make it transparent for patients and for the caregivers, uh, how the outcomes are from our surgeries or our interventions. So we developed a, uh, for example, a questionnaire and see in the uh, prior surgery and post-surgery how their complaints are developing. At the moment we're developing and evaluating an app uh, focusing on um, communication strategies and training and uh, providing information about hearing loss for people who are not yet ready for a hearing aid. The third theme is epidemiology, so we are studying the determinants and consequences of hearing loss and we have a cohort study running since 2006, so we are following uh, more than 2,000 people for 15 years now. And uh, the study has been set up to study the uh, psychosocial consequences of uh, having hearing loss. So for instance, we looked at what kind of factors are of influence on, on the speed of hearing loss. Smoking um, accelerates the, the speed of hearing loss. Similarly, we're uh, also looking at associations of hearing loss and, and loneliness, for instance. The fourth theme is outcome measures. We're developing outcome measures, including speech recognition tests. One example is the DIN test, the digits in noise test, uh, known by many people across the world. So my research is about making the development or the development process of the digits in noise test automatic. We wanna see if we can use synthetic speech instead of human speech for the making of uh, hearing tests. If that would be the case, that would be awesome because that way we can create hearing tests in multiple languages very fast and also the results would, be, uh, would become more comparable to each other because the speech material is all created the same way. So that's great. <laughs> hearing loss, of course, is an area that is a very multidisciplinary in nature. And it is important to get the perspective of all of these people when we do the research to gain a better understanding of what hearing impairment exactly is and what the consequences are and what we can do about it. Okay.